all signs. It's that time again. Come out to play all of my signs. Come on out. If you clicked on that beautiful, beautiful picture, you already know it is the, your girl. See, um, that's what I'm talking about. You've reached readings with Marvelous Madame. These cards is jumping, guys. And I am, oh, Marvelous One, the Marvelous Madame M. Dub in the building. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. As always, I want to start off with a little bit of gratitude, although this is a bonus read. All of my new subscribers that have reached out to me. If you are now a part of the Marvelous Tribe now, hello, 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 hello. How are you guys? Today, I got a very special bonus read. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, this is Moon in Pisces. The troublemakers themselves, my troublemaking fish, okay? So, before I get started, because you know these videos are just bonus reads to get you um, in line with the love energy that's going to be surrounding you for while the moon is in Pisces, okay? We just did this on Sunday for the moon in Sagittarius, okay? So, again... Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. If you're tuning in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring my bell. Ding! Thank you so much again. Bonus reading for all signs. The moon is in Pisces. I just want to say before I get started that this is a one card reading, one romance angel oracle card to pull the overall love energy that's surrounded in uh, surrounded around you or uh, that will be coming toward you in this beautiful season then Aquarius was beautiful energy um Scorpio was around um uh, the holiday we've gotten some really good stuff this is moon and Pisces in the middle of Gemini season so it can affect everybody differently obviously because we all have different placements okay I've been picking up beautiful energy I should have known something was going on but I pay attention to the schedule guys and then I get caught up with personal readings and stuff for the content and forget. And then every other day, I know that I want to start doing this because they're so much fun. And I looked and I was like, oh, Jesus, the moon is in Pisces. OK, let's go. So, again, thank you. If you're new, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel. OK, let's get started. The moon is in Pisces. What do we know about our Pisces? We give them such a hard time, but we love our little fishes. Pisces, the emotions are turned up. Okay, very sensitive, water sign, highly intuitive. Okay, hella spiritual if they're tapped in like that. Okay, hella spiritual. You already know. Okay, also compassionate, creative as hell. Every Pisces you know, maybe they're in um, the arts. Maybe they work a government job to pay the bills, but they got a side hustle. Pisces have a lot of fucking personality. They got a shoe fetish. Some of them got a feet fetish. Get ugly, guys. Okay? I'm not going to tell you how I know that. And they, they, they are very, very, very nice people, actually. They get a bad rap. Mutable energy. Mutable energy. They know how to go with the flow. Know everybody, they mama, they auntie, and they cousin. You guys know how these fish get down. One, the the icon or the uh, elemental, um, the, the zodiac sign element is fish. I always call them the fish. I like for you guys to be identified by your elemental um, signs. They are a water sign, but the fish, um, they're two fish, okay? One swimming up and one swimming down if you look at the actual icon. So... I want you guys to keep that in mind as well. Let's see. Romantic. They can be very hella romantic, especially if they got a lot of water in their chart. Ooh, we. Ooh. Excellent love makers. If um, different than Scorpio in the fact that Scorpio can be very deep. It's it, the Scorpios are kind of you're my possession type of thing. They can be very possessive. All three of the water signs can. OK, 
this is a cancer talking to you, but I have a lot of earth in my chart. What I'm saying, guys, is that, okay, I'm going to finish this and, and go ahead and get these cards popping, is that the Pisces have a tendency of being romantic and not necessarily making you feel like you are locked down. For some of us, we like it. Some of us like being locked down and, and handcuffed because that gives us security. Now, get ugly, guys. Okay, bone gang. All right. So... I have all of the, um, the the numbers and how I pull who's going to go first. And to be quite honest with you, guess who is first? The Pisces kicks everybody ass all the time. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is going to be, again, the love ro one romance angel oracle card that's going to represent the overall energy that you're surrounded around or that, that is going to be coming towards you in this moon in Pisces. The moon entered Pisces on June 5th at 10.53 a.m. and will not leave until June 7th at 9.25 p.m. Will it win at that time, it will be moving into the sign of Aries. All right, let's go. Pisces, you're up first. Universe spirit, angels and my guides, please provide me one, one card that's going to represent the overall energy, love energy that's surrounded Pisces and this moon in Pisces. Okay, one card, one card. There we go, Pisces. Heart to heart conversations, my fishes. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. And this couldn't be more true because you obviously have been called upon. I just got through yelling at you guys for your top of the month love reading about how you need to be honest with your feelings. Now, let's get ugly. Next up is my Leos, my lions. You guys showed up and showed out. You are next. Universe spirit angels and my guides, please provide me one card that's going to that's going to represent the overall love energy that surrounds my Leos and this moon and Pisces. OK, give me one card that's going to represent the overall love energy that surrounds or that's coming toward my Leos and this moon and Pisces and Leos. We got that light work. So I'm pulling off the top. Boom. Love yourself first and it was reversed. I don't really read reversals, but for some of you guys, if you're feeling like you're not loving on yourself enough, you are being called upon to do that. Love yourself first, Leo. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. OK, let's go. Next up is the aquas and aquas that flew right out. I didn't get a chance to ask, so you know how we rock over here at, at M-Dub. I'm going to go ahead and ask, but the first card, Aqua, is deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys, I feel like oh, you got that before. All right. And I'm not going to ask now because I was trying to and it popped out again. Aqua, this could be the one. You guys have two. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, okay? All right, so they gave me two in an effort of time. I'm going to keep it moving. Scorpio, Scorpio's up next. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guys, please provide me one, one romance angel oracle card that's going to represent the love energy surrounded around my Scorpios, okay, in this moon and Pisces. Scorpios in this moon and Pisces. And what do we got? All right, Scorp, we got that light work. I'm taking it off the top and boom. It is safe for you to love, Scorpio. Open up your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Let's rock, Sagittarius. Sagis, you are up next. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guys, please provide me one card that's going to represent the overall love energy that's surrounding my Sagittarians in this moon in Pisces. And there we go. Honeymoon, Sagis. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. All right. That popped right out and hit me in the face. Let's go, Virgo. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guys. And there we go. Didn't even get a chance to ask, but because I got half of that out, we're going to keep moving. Virgo, your card is you deserve love. You are lovable. Let's go. All right. I didn't even ask for the next one. Taurus, Taurus. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guys, please provide me with one card that's going to represent the overall energy, love energy that surrounds my Taurians. Taurians, you have two. Romantic feelings flew out before I get an opportunity to ask. Romantic feelings. You, your feelings are real and worth exploring, Taurians. And the next one, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Let's rock. Libra. Libra. 
Universe spirit, angels and my guides, please provide me one card that's going to represent. And that one flew out on the floor and it is separation, Libra, upside down. I don't read reversals, but separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon or because it was upside down when it flew out of the deck and on the floor. Maybe it landed that way. So we're going to go ahead and take the reversal. Maybe you guys are. Um, supposed to separate and this is saying that you shouldn't okay some of you may be separating some of you is saying you shouldn't next Gemini in this beautiful Gemini season universe spirit angels and my guys please provide me with one one card that represents the love energy that surrounds my twins my Gemini's in this moon and Pisces please one card that represents the overall love energy and this moon and Pisces. Uh-oh. Here we go. Give your relationship a chance, Gemini. Work on your partnership. Okay? Work on your partnership. Next up, Aries. Universe spirit. Oh, angels and my guides. Past life relationship, Aries. You two have known each other. I'm going to try one more time. Universe spirit, angels and my guides. Give me one card that represents oh, the overall love energy for the sign of Aries engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment in this uh moon and Pisces Aries that's what you got going on next up is my caps universe spirit angels and my guys please provide me one card that's going to represent the overall love energy that surrounds my Capricorns and this moon and Pisces this moon there we go in Pisces religious factors cap your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path now this particular card doesn't necessarily mean somebody's catholic and somebody is jewish i think that this just means that you guys are different typically when i see this card it means that there's an age difference don't take that card so literally it's not necessarily a bad thing it just means that you guys are different okay you're being influenced by different things and that could be affecting your relationship. Last but not least is the cancers. Oh, and that popped right out. Forgiving and learning uh, cancers. And I'm going to pull another one. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Lord knows that's the truth because I'm, I'm going through that right now. Universe spirit angels and my guides give me one card that's going to represent the overall love energy that surrounds my crabs in this moon and Pisces and this moon and Pisces and it's make the effort. Great love is worth taking steps. You're guided to take. And that has been the overall love energy that's surrounding you guys or that is coming towards you in this moon and Pisces. OK, again, the moon is going to be in Pisces. It entered yesterday morning at 10 53 a.m is going to leave on june 7th which is tomorrow at 9 25 p.m okay so go ahead tap into your pisces have some fun if you have happen to be dating someone with moon and pisces go ahead and have some fun you guys are going to be creative. You're going to be mysterious and sensitive. You're going to be making some good love and overall just have some fun. All signs. OK, so I'll be back with you in a couple days when we're going to be talking about the moon and Aries, the moon and Aries. And guys, go into the main page. OK, the about when you go onto the channel, I post um, little messages for you guys there as well. OK, um, it's the community tab and it's open. You guys can reply back. You can like those comments. Go ahead and check those out because I let you guys know typically what's coming up. All right. I have a post out there tonight that's letting you know. So if you go to the home channel, click the discussion tab, guys, and you will see um, what I have out there. And I'm just letting you know in the morning, this this audio Scorpio, Sagittarius and Virgo is coming up for the top of the month. Love readings for June. That's all today, guys. I got so much more work that I got to do. So I got to get up out of here because, you know, the moon is in Pisces. So you know what that means for me. Get ugly. All right, guys, this has been your bonus read. 
If it like, I hope it resonated with some of you guys. Go ahead, like, share. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, ring my bell, and keep up with me. And Marvelous Madame is out. Peace. Bye, all signs.